हेलो मिस्टर जमील माय नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू यू इज एज ए टीम लीड यू मस्ट बी अवेयर ऑफ द ट्रैक्शन ऑफ योर टीम आई मीन लाइक आई वांट टू नो द प्रोसेस ऑफ द वे यू ट्रैक द प्रोग्रेस ऑफ योर टीम इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन एंड क्वालिटी हाउ आर यू गोइंग टू डू दैट जस्ट टेल इन ब्रीफ Yes, sir. As a team lead, I must be aware of the team's progress, where it is heading to, what is the work they are doing, and uh, what are the numbers they are currently into, and how are they going to achieve it. So, to do that, uh, firstly, before allocating the work to my team, I will clearly set the expectations to my team that uh, this is the number we are going to achieve by the end of the day, and also along with that, I am going to share the overall process or steps. that uh, that they should take in order to achieve that target okay and after setting the expectations i will allow them to hit the floor on the floor when they start working on a timely interval basis i will keep a check on their numbers maybe it could be one hour basis or two hour basis okay by dashboard uh, let's suppose if uh, i want to give an example uh, that let's suppose if our overall target is 80 count per day and uh, the working hours are 8 hours so my team the each and every individual of my team has to hit 10 per hour 10 per hour so on a timely interval basis i am going to check uh, whether my team is achieving on an average 10 per hour or not if they are not able to achieve it i will find out i will catch hold of those people and i will call them and i'm uh, i will ask them why what is the reason they are not ach- uh, what is the reason of not achieving this count obviously they would say some challenges i would try to uh, you know work on those challenges and try to give a clear you know way to achieve it and let's suppose in my team some are some are able to achieve 10 per hour some are at 8 some are at 6 so for 8 and 6 i would ask these people to sit with those people who are achieving 10 per hour and try to understand the way how they are achieving it what are the best practices they are doing it in order to know let them know that these people can also achieve it that's how i am going to maintain 10 per hour and by the end of the day uh, i will make sure that these all people are achieving 80 count per day okay and for some companies you don't have a dashboard environment i mean like the company won't provide you the dashboard where you you are, you are not able to see the numbers so in that case i would uh, create an hourly tracker on a spreadsheet and i would share that spreadsheet to my team and i will ask my team members to update the count on an hourly basis it could be one hour basis or two hour basis and i would be keep on checking that tracker and if i see any dip then i will follow this same process again and again and till the time i maintain 10 per hour i would do that so this is how i am going to uh, track the production on a daily basis so jamil in the company which you are getting interviewed you don't have any dashboard in your room but here nothing is automated everything is manual so i want to know how you create the hourly tracker can you show it manually yes sir i can show it manually for that we have to go to the screen so yes guys i am on to the spreadsheet google spreadsheet this is google spreadsheet which in which i have created the hourly tracker manually uh, you can also use excel uh, for excel uh, you need to have microsoft outlook account attached to it that will be provided by your company let's suppose if your company is working on uh, microsoft outlook they use excel but if the company is oriented with google suit or google platforms like g suit so you will be having google sheets both work similarly 
so the functions are similar so based on your company's environment and the tools they use you can use it so here i am using google sheet so in google sheet the first row is of the ads that uh, the team members are supposed to update the count on an every time interval here you have let's suppose the shift timings are shift timings are 8 to 5 8 am to 5 pm in the evening okay so i have divided this uh, shift into uh, four time intervals one is 8 am to 10:30 am then 10:30 am to 1 pm 1 pm to 2 pm is your lunch break so i am updating as a, updating it as lunch break and then 2 pm to 3:30 pm 3:30 pm to 5 pm and the overall uh, uh, counts sum or the total you will be getting over here i have uh, taken the target as 80 and the deficit count is uh the target minus the total count achieved will come in deficit okay here are the team member names you can update it uh in the column number a and i will be sharing this sheet to my team members and uh, on in every time interval as soon as the 10:30 happens i will ask my team members to update the count once they update the count let's suppose T, uh, the person abc has updated 12 so if you see this 12 in total you are getting 12 and the target is 80 deficit is 68 automatically it will come as 68 that means this person abc has achieved 12 count and he has yet to uh, achieve this uh, uh, 80 target and for that he is to hit more 68 counts so likewise i would ask each and every team members to update the count likewise here you will get the individual count number and by the end of the evening by the end of the day uh, once all the tracker gets filled you will get the exact number and the how many deficits the people are having and based on that you can manage your team and you can manage the production of your team so this is how i wanted to uh, share this tracker with you so that you can use this tracker in your work environment so that's it uh, thank you so much